All right, boys, pack it up. We're done here. Ultra Rumble is done. This is True Kings, and we're gonna talk about it, bruh. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm done with this game. I think I, I can play it casually, but taking it seriously, I already hit Ace. I see too much bullshit. I can't play the characters I want. They're doing dumbass updates. The game is done for me, bruh. I don't think I think I'll give up on this sort of genre because spell break I didn't really I wasn't a fan of at all, but it had its fans, it died. Rumbleverse, I loved to death, and that shit died in six months. This game is like this game literally brought together the Rumbleverse, Spellbreak community, and any new players. And this shit like it's on its way out already, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how well money has been. But the fact that they charge you for a racer head, and the racer head is glitchy as fuck, is ridiculous, bro. Like they just did updates for they just did they updates like two weeks ago I think, and a racer head got a buff to his gamma, which is just a little whips thing. Now tell me how the fuck that get buffed when the man. He's glitchy. Like, his whole kit, literally, all of his abilities are glitchy. Instead of fixing the glitches and making the characters work, they didn't do this. They can buff the Bakugo, the best character in the goddamn game, for some reason. I don't know why, but they buffed him. Kendo hasn't got no love since the game came out. I don't want Kendo to really be buffed. I just want her to be consistent with her abilities. Her gamma is super inconsistent, easy to bait out. So, it doesn't really do shit. She's only close range, so she has to get directly in your face. It's like playing a worse Kirishima, basically. And her freaking shield is very inconsistent on what it can block or not. So, between that, Bakugo getting buffed, they murdered Fropy when Fropy is good, don't get me wrong. But Fropy, it wasn't a threat like Bakugo was. I used to hate Deku, but Deku's kind of chill. He's pretty much... Bakugo diet. <laughs> He's diet Bakugo. But the changes are making sense. Like, instead of giving us patches, instead of giving us new characters that you're gonna fucking charge for that's glitchy, we'll just fucking fix the glitches first. Take some time, fix the glitches, just do, make, you, I know you got some outfits in stock, just release those. If you wanna still try to make money off of like, freaking plus ultra rolls or whatever. We got outfits in the bay that we didn't put in. Just release those in the meantime, there's no excuse. We all still want to try to make money. Do those as a plus ultra roll. Put some random other character in the character banner or whatever the fuck. And fix your glitches. If you want to do a few patches while you're fixing them, fix it. I'm getting sick of my teammates' banners getting stuck under the goddamn map. <laughs> they get they spawn always in the middle of the map. Get stuck under there. I'm sick of freaking not being able to heal or use any cards without a glitch that fucking happens. And sometimes that shit is infectious, it just spreads to the whole team. I had both glitches happen in a match yesterday at the same time. I had my teammate Venner spot and I couldn't heal all in one game. And it was against the last squad, which is Toga. Dang. Which, we gotta talk about that. Why the fuck did they buff Toga to this degree? Giving her two charges of her beta, when if she landed a beta on somebody, she would run so fucking far already? Is for so long is ridiculous. They really fumbled considering the cooldown of it too. And she's a technical character. I'm gonna be real. Um there's not many viable characters like in the slightest. There's like 19 characters. There's like five maybe really viable ones. The rest can be if you get into a good scenario with them, but some are just viable throughout the entire match. But I think this game is just on its, I think it's on its way out. The player base is falling apart. Steam is like hitting 3k max I think right now. But this is the thing. That doesn't sound bad. But the game is crossplay. <laughs> no, the game crossplay. Sorry. The game has no crossplay right now. And I don't know when they're going to do that. They have the hacker issue on PC. Which this is somebody that's talking with experience of no PC. This is a, I have a PC, but this is no PC gameplay. I've played strictly on console. So this is strictly console talking. Console Ace Player. Um, PS4 specifically, if you need to know. And this is what the fuck I've been going through. And then when they add crossplay, they have to get rid of the hacking issue first, or console is going to have to deal with hackers. And on console, they have basically aimbot they have to fucking fix. They turned that shit up way more than it was in the beta. And it made it kind of boring. Uh, 
But that's all I'm gonna say. I'll just get the fucking vent. I'll be talking about other shit from now on. Bruh. But let me know what you guys think. I think the game's dead personally. I'm over here doing challenges. Like the reason you if you're watching if you're actually watching the gameplay, I'm just not healing. That's all this video was. Or this match was was me not healing as a challenge. I lost this one, but I did it like a match or two later. But this is Kingsden, I'm out. Everybody take it easy.